Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and I'm here with Pong X, which is my latest upload to the Reactor User Library. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new content around once a week. So Pong X is an ensemble I designed a few years ago and I've been meaning to kind of fix it up and uh, there's a lot of little things about it I'd like to change uh, for the last couple years and I just have never gotten around to it so I've decided just to release it as it is it's extraordinarily powerful um, so the basic idea is um, the part of our GUI that's taking up most of our screen space is its own little patching language inside reactor and you can add little modules to it and connect them together um, so to do that we can just click on the add new button here and we'll get a list of available modules and to begin with let's add an output because we need one for any project we're gonna make and that's in the uh, lower right hand corner here so you can click on the output icon and we'll be sent back to our main screen here and then you can left click anywhere on the screen to add the output module to our screen and once it's on our screen we can pick it up and drag it around by left clicking on it or we can right click on it to delete it if we want to get rid of it each module has four inputs and one output and you can look at the GUI for a given module by clicking on its name on the screen interface and the available options for that module will show up in um, on the right hand side in the middle here and you'll notice at the bottom of the module GUI we have these four little slots here and these will give you information about the four inputs to the module so the output module only has one input and if you hover over the one input that is active here it'll tell you that this is the audio output for your project alright so one thing to keep in mind when working with Pong X is that you might make a mistake it's a really good idea to turn your volume down and I do this so you definitely should as well just while you're working on creating new patches um, and I'll show you why so if we add an analog oscillator here and connect it to the output you notice it starts making sound immediately um, by the way to make a connection you can left click and drag to any input and to break a connection you can simply right click on the given input so the reason this is happening is we don't have a amplitude control on our oscillator so it's simply using whatever amplitude knob is sent to so we have to use an envelope to connect to the amplitude input of our analog module and by hovering over our input information over here we can find out that the second input controls the amplitude modulation so by connecting an envelope to that we will make sure the envelope envelope controls the amplitude of the analog module This envelope is a little old and I wouldn't be surprised if it has some errors to be honest but uh, you can shape all the curves individually and you can drag all the points around so it's pretty fun to use So yeah, you can just kind of go hog wild and add as much stuff as you want to the interface here. And um, there's a lot of modules to allow you to create um, pretty flexible setups, especially the mixer modules, which allow you to mix up to four signals together. Um, but yeah, I just find this is a lot of fun to play around with. 
I was really trying to kind of push the envelope of what's possible in Reactor when I was making this. Mm -hmm. And um, I, there's a lot of things that I'm kind of unhappy about, as I said earlier. A lot of interactions that I would maybe change how they work a little bit. But at this point in time, it's such an overwhelming project that I honestly don't really even want to think about it. And the sequencer modules are kind of fun. You can kind of draw in a sequence and have it play back controlling a uh, input of your choice. So if we use that, we can use that to control, for example, the uh, frequency of our diode filter here. Alright, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is the controls up at the top here, which are kind of our global voicing controls. Um, the up and down knob control the amount of pitch bend applied to pitch bend above or pitch bend below the center. Um, this menu over here controls how our voicing is played back. We have polyphonic mode. We have a unison 2 mode, which plays back two voices for every single note pressed. So it basically doubles each um, oscillator. And you can use the stereo and detune knobs to spread them in the uh, panning and by tuning. And in mono and legato modes, the unison knob controls the number of voices. And of course our glide knob here controls the um, length of the glide between two notes. And once you have a setup that you like, you can create a bunch of different snapshots for it. Um, so this is a bank of uh, 10 snapshots that I made that all have the same basic structure, which is um, using four analog oscillators in a single envelope with two filters. So those are all using basically the same structure with minor variations. Alright, so once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the ensemble, which you can download for free from the Reactor user library, and I'll provide you a link in the video description. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again next week with a new Reactor tutorial.